Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course uh, aspects of biochemical engineering. Now, in the last uh, lecture, I tried to uh, discuss the scale up of bioreactor, and uh, I told you that uh, this is a very important uh, part of uh, this course because main purpose of the course of biochemical engineering that uh, that we want to apply it, that whatever things we develop in the lab in the bigger scale. So, now question comes whatever uh, were, uh, through the research work in the lab, day to day lab, we, we develop some kind of product. Now, uh, that uh, we might have developed in a very tiny scale, maybe in the test tube, maybe in the cortical plug, maybe in the 2 liter or 10 liter reactor, but that is not good enough for marketing the product, am I right? <coughs> so, we shall have to, we shall have to go for the higher scale. When you go for the higher scale, that we should remember the monetary involvement of the process increased drastically. So, uh, so naturally that when we any investor, when he invested money, he should have 100 percent confidence that whatever things we get in the small scale, the same thing we should get in the uh, bigger scale of operation. And that is why scaling up of the bioreactor is very much essential. Any kind of process, of first we scale it up and try to find out that you know that whether under what circumstances we can have we can develop the similar environment that we have small reactor and the big big reactor and uh, so you know for for doing so uh, so we there are certain operational parameters as for example power drawn by the hesitator i told you this plays very important role and and mild hesitation because we know in the microbial fermentation process that uh, when you do the hesitation and as you increase the uh, speed of the hesitator, there will be sign called shear effect. And due to shear effect, the growth of the organism will be hampered. So, naturally, there should be an optimization of the, mm. of the power uh, that uh, uh, to, to be applied in the hesitator. And uh, that is why we have a, a thing that is called biological concept of the, uh, of the process for scale up. And this tell that under at what KLA or P by that P by V ratio power per unit volume of the uh, uh, reactor that we will get the maximum amount of product formation. That because we say when we scale it up, we shall have to find out what is the minimum uh, that you know power required for getting the maximum amount of product. Because the industry when you work with any kind of process, main concern is the money and the operation. That, that monetary involvement, because I told you that you know a more, a more power you, you applied, more power, more current will be drawn and th that you know your money, the electrical, expend electrical power e expenditure for the process increases drastically. So, and I, I try to give uh, two different instances uh, like penicillin fermentation and streptomycin fermentation, how the P by V ratio and the volumetric mass transfer coefficient, how that influence the product formation. Now, this particular uh, lecture, I want to discuss uh, uh, two different problems of this scaling up of the bioprocess and at the, at the end, I want to discuss the scale down of the bioprocess. Now, first let me start with that uh, with this problem. Now, the problem says after a batch fermentation, the system is dismalted. Dismalted means you just open it up and approximately 75 percent of the cell mass is suspended in the liquid phase that is the 2 liters and while 25 percent attached to the reactor wall and internal, internal with the thickness of calculated 0.3 centimeter. Cell mass productivity of the a reactor is 2 gram per liter at 2 liter scale. What will be the productivity of 20,000 liter scale if both the reactor have height diameter ratio is 2, 2 is to 1. 
So, this is the problem that, uh, so I can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can explain little bit what is the problem. Problem is that this is the reactor, am I right? And, and, and after the, suppose you put the media here and you put the cell here. So, then after the fermentation over you open the things and initially this is 2 liter capacity and if you say 75 percent you take the liquid house and 75 percent uh, approximately 70 percent of the cell mass suspended in the liquid. So, what is the total amount of cell mass we have? This is 2 gram per liter mass uh, cell mass product is 2 gram per liter at 2 liter scale. That means, how much is the cell mass 2 gram per liter? into 2 liter, am I right? So, liter liter will cancel, so this will be 4 gram. So, we will get the 4 gram of cell in 2 liter fermenter. Out of 4 gram, 75 percent goes in the solution, am I right? I hope, I hope you understand that. Then that means, this is multiplied by 3 for the fourth, that is 4 for will cancel, so 3 gram will go to the uh, so solution that you know suspended liquid and 1 gram remaining 4 minus 1, 3 equal to 1. 1 gram uh, 25 percent attached to the reactor wall and internal the thickness of 0.3 centimeter and height diameter ratio is given here ok 2 is to 1. Now, you see that how we can solve this problem that the volume of the reactor how we can write this is uh, that you know that uh, this is pi r square h am I right? This is the cylindrical fermenter. So, <coughs> this is like this, let us assume diameter is d. So, pi r square will be what? This is the cross sectional area, <coughs> this is the liquid height multiplied h. Now, r will be what? r will be d by 2 whole square into h. So, that is why we have write 1 by 4 pi d s square into h. Now, h by d ratio is what? Is 2 is to 1. So, if 2 is to 1 I can write h equal to h equal to 2 d. So, this is exactly what we have written though this is like this. Now, this is equal to 2 liters and one case is this 2 liter, 2 liter means 2000 <coughs> centimeter cubed. So, you can we can easily find out what is the diameter, what is the surface area, what and the volume that we can we can easily find out surface area is, is equal to how you can cal the calculate the surface area, peri what is the periphery, periphery twice pi r am I right. So, 2 r equal to diameter am I right this is 2 equal to pi d and and height, height is h. So, surface area will be to pi d into h. This is how, how we can cal the calculate the surface area. Now, similarly in, in case of 20,000 liter reactor, we can calculate the diameter. This is 233.5 centimeter surface area is this and and volume is this ok. Now, let us see how we can solve this problem. What is cell mass productivity? 2 gram per liter and what is the what is the volume of the small scale? 2 liter. So, we, I told you that uh, for, for how much uh, cell will get for 4 grams out of 4 grams 3 grams remain in the cell suspension suspension and 1 gram uh, that attached with the attached with the cell wall with the with the wall it is the wall is uh, that you know fermented wall that will be the 1 gram biomass is attached with the now if you if you look at Now, here we already calculated what is the surface area in 2 liter reactor. This is 734, am I right? 38. So, 1 gram of cell that means 1 gram of cell is for 173 
square meter surface area. So, so one gram cell present in seven centimeter square that we, uh, we have already find out. And so, here in the bigger scale how much cell will be there in the cell wall? This is 3, 4, 2, 6, 0, 0. This is the amount of cell will be present in the as a cell wall in the reactor wall, not cell wall, it is reacted wall. So, this is exactly how we have calculated here, you can see how we calculate. We find out that how much gram of that uh, how much gram of uh, cell remain in the uh, surface attached to growth that we find out. Now, 2 liters we have this much. So, now by in the two 20,000 liters how much will be there? Now, by here we can uh, we can we can we can find out like this that uh, this is 2 liter per liter this is 75 percent is the in suspension. So, I can I can in the you, uh, the concentration was 2 gram per liter. So, 3 by 4 into 20,000 and the plus this is due to the attached growth. So, total total gram of uh, cell mass you can get that is about uh, 3064.22 gram. So, if no cell growth has been present in the 20,000 liter then 400, uh, 400 uh, uh, gram cell mass thus cell wall pre if present can seriously alter the productivity the large scale upon the scale up. So, uh, that is uh, that is the that is one very interesting thing that we have that uh, material of construction of the fermenter plays very important role. Uh, particularly that uh, that uh, usually the fermenter the material construction should be stainless steel. Now, so as we as we know the stainless steel may be of uh, different types that in the chemical industry we use SS 314 and in the fermentation industry we use the uh, one the uh, SS 316. Sometimes we, we want uh, some kind of special type of stainless steel. Now, now we we add some kind of ingrained metal here that is uh, uh, that uh, show that that you know that uh, the smoothness of the surface increases so that uh, the the attach uh, the cell should not attach with the surface of the of the uh, reactor too much. So this is so this uh, this is a kind of analysis that has been performed just to find out that how much cell may attach with the with, with the with the with the surface of the reactor. Now, next problem that we have this is a simple scale up problem considered a scale up of fermenter from 10 liter to 10,000 liter vessel. Small fermenter has the height to diameter ratio 3 is to 3 that means h is to d this is equal to 3. So, I can write h equal to 3 d am I right? We can write the impeller diameter is 30 percent of the tank diameter that means, I d i impeller diameter is 30 percent 30 percent means 0 0.3 that d i d t d t if we say that d t is the tank diameter this is equal to d t then we can write 0 0.3 into d t. <coughs> the hesitator speed is 500 r p m and 3 rustone rustone impeller are used and uh, and uh, this rustone impeller looks like this this is like this because you might be knowing that why why we use the multiple starter let me explain again i have uh, that uh, suppose you have one starter like this now in case of the liquid, the liquid will go like this. So, when it is rotated, so more you can see that most of the stirring will occur at the bottom part of the liquid, not upper part of the liquid, but you want to have the homogeneity in the reaction mixture. So, we shall have to have another impeller here, remember another so that you know that here there will be started like this. So, that is why they have written the three rustum impellers 
are used. Determine the dimensions of the large scale and agitated speed uh, by uh, considering constant P by V ratio and P by V means power per unit volume, constant impeller tip velocity and constant Reynolds number. Assume geometrical say, similarity referred uh, to the given below. The geometrical similarity, uh, let us assume that uh, geometrical, say, let us remove that. We, we let us assume the geometrical similarity of the reactor. That means, both are cylindrical reactor. So, now let us see how we can solve this. So, here uh, what we what we have in this problem? The initially we have 10 liter and that is to be scale it up to 10,000 liters. Am I right? So, so this is the, this is the equation that we have. This is the volume of the cylindrical vessel equal to V equal to pi by 4 d i uh, is this, uh, squared into h. And uh, we know that uh, h equal to, uh, to 3 d i then we, we can we can write this is the equation and and then we can uh, we can find out that uh, uh, what is the value of di di because di equal to 0.3 dt that is 3 to 30 percent of the tank i already explained and then we can find out what is the dt value what is the h value what is di value so in the small reactor the dimensions of the dimensions of the a reactor we can easily find out what is the height, um, what is the diameter and what is the impeller diameter, tank diameter all this thing we can we can easily find it out. Now, next is the 10,000 liter reactor am I right? 10,000 liter reactor. Uh, so, you know that uh, the scale up. So, how you can how you can find out that I told you that uh, V 1 by V 2 is equal to what? This is V is the 10 liters and V 2 is the 10,000 liters. Am I right? So, uh, I can I can cancel it. So, it is 1000. So, this is 1 by 10 to the power 3. Uh, this is uh, this is what? This is equal to d i 1 cubed by d i 2 cubed. Am I right? Now, <coughs> Then, then I can write d i 1 by d i 2, this will be 1 by 10, because this is 3, this is also 3, this is a whole to the power 3, if you remove it. And then d i 2 is equal to d i 1 into 10, 10 times. So, we can easily find out the diameter of the of the vessel. If you know the diameter, we can easily find out the height of the vessel, because we know for h, di, h by d ratio that is equal to 3. And then also impeller diameter we can 30 percent of the tank diameter is the impeller diameter that we can easily find it out. So, this is uh, this is how we can calculate. Uh, now, now let, let us come to the problem. Now, the problem is that they are saying at constant p by v ratio, then what will be the what will the agitator speed? That means, n value you have to calculate. Now, P by V, I, I already mentioned that n 1 cubed d i 1 square n 2 cubed d i 2 square. This is constant, am I right? If this is constant, then we uh, similarly previously we have already done that we have seen n 2 by n 1 is equal to what d i 1 by d i 2 to the power 2 by 3. Am I right? So, we know this is 1, this is uh, this is ratio is 1 is to 10. So, we can easily find out the we know n 2 value. So, we can find n 1 value we know. So, n 2 value we can easily find it out. <coughs> now, if we assume now question comes that if a n 1 value is not given then we can write uh, this is this into n 1. Now, if you if we assume n 1 value is 1, then you can easily write this n 2 value will be that time or uh, as compared to the small reactor. Now, next uh, next problem that we have that is uh, if uh, when 
the t for the constant t velocity constant t velocity means n d i 1 is equal to n d i 2. So, so th if this is this then what will be the n value then uh, we can easily find it out because this is n 2 equal to n 1 into d i 1 by d i 2 we put this value we can easily find it. Now, next is the Reynolds number Reynolds number what is this uh, n d i square 1 this should be your the n d i d i square 2 am I right. So, this is uh, first case this is second case if it is equal to this then we can easily find it out this n 2 value is uh, So, it is it is very simple to calculate that you know what would be the value during the scaling up of the bioreactor different uh, we can easily solve this you know that uh, how we can solve the uh, different operational parameter during scaling up of the bioreactor. Now, next uh, pr next thing that I am going to, going to discuss that uh, scale down of bioreactor up till now we are discussing about the scale up of bioreactor. Now, question comes why the scale down of bioreactor is required because it is very simple because suppose I, ha I, have, I, am, I have been working with uh, some 200 liter 200 cubic meter reactor and we, we found that we want to found or study the effect of uh, uh, certain parameters on the productivity of the process. Now, if we if we want to study that you know that effect of the parameter that not necessarily always this should be positive sometime it may be negative also. So, we cannot take risk of for studying any parameter in the bigger scale. So, what is required? we required that you know that uh, that uh, you know, we shall have to scale down that we shall have to uh, that you know if you want to study sir, some parameter of uh, in the bigger scale first we shall have to study that in the smaller scale. I can tell you very simple instances I work with citric acid industry and citric acid industry we know that that you know that uh, that we use some kind of industrial strain and industrial strain as you know that the is considered as a very stable strain and uh, the productivity of the uh, of the of the particular organism remains unaltered uh, due, uh, after after generation to generation it doesn't uh, depends on the generation of the organism but still for the operation for when when we go for the full scale trial full scale operation production parameter we always run that same generation of the organism in the small scale just to find out whether the productivity of the fermenter is uh, will be same or it will be going to change. Uh, if it is same then and only then we from the same generation we prepare the culture and, 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 and do that. Similarly, that uh, suppose if we if we want to study any kind of parameters for this uh, we find out that you know whether this parameter is suitable uh, we can enhance the productivity of the of the process. What is the productivity? Productivity means amount of product that is produced per uh, part time you know that uh, that is called and what is the volumetric productivity? Volumetric productivity is the amount of product formation per unit time by per volume of the reactor that is called vol volumetric productivity. Now, this productivity if we, if we find that if we want to study the effect of certain parameters on the productivity particular on the particular system then first we shall have to do it in the small scale that is uh, that is we call scale down we cannot we can study in the big, uh, that high bigger scale so so this is uh, this is considered the scale down of bioreactor and efficient scale down bioreactor has to create the condition that will be representative for the conditions occurring in the large scale and it is used for the optimization of the process condition and the operation. This is the main purpose of scale down that we, we want to wa want to find out the what is the optimum conditions that we have for this particular process that you know that if that we cannot do in the big scale we can we shall have to do all always in the in the uh, in the by in the small scale and that uh, that we call we always consider as a scale down. Now, in the scale down uh, what happens is describe scale down is, is describe effect of fluctuating con condition on the large scale bioreactor because you know that 
better because when you operate any kind of fermenter it may so happen that in you know, operational condition may change you know the as i can give the uh, simple example that power failure power failure is a common issue of any kind of uh, uh, industry as per india is concerned so though it is connected with a dz set uh, that you know that you know uh, that you know power generation system but it may required some kind of time you know some kind of uh, the time is required for start of the process again so you know that kind of uh, fluctuation whether it affects the productivity of the system that we can study in the small scale also and find out whether it is there or not so it describe the effect of fluctuation conditions on the large scale bio reactor the scale down approach focuses on 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 simulating the lab scale laboratory scale and the environmental condition prevalent on the large scale and analyzing the effects of this fluctuation on cell physiology physiology that we can do it very easily in the small this cannot be done in the big scale big scale it will be very difficult now scale down operation consists of following steps one is the regime analysis regime analysis is very important regime analysis means suppose i can tell you suppose this is the hesitation am i right this is hesitation and this is aeration the regime analysis is something like this that means we shall have to we shall have try to do this uh, do this operation within this regime we cannot go beyond as for example if we if we go for this you know if you go to this situation what is this situation a agitation is maximum aeration is maximum so here you can expect more shear forces now here you see here agitation is less aeration aeration is also less so here you have hesitation and aeration both are less that affects the fermentation process to a great extent so so you have to this uh, regime analysis so where you are going to operate your system that you can easily do in the in the small scale then th their their simulation of laboratory system optimization and modeling of the culture that we can i have already mentioned and application of the results on the large scale this whatever whatever we find out in the small scale then we can apply in the we whatever good results we have then we can test it in the larger scale so for before we go for the large scale operation it is always advisable to um, to keep the run in the smaller scale so in this particular presentation i try to discuss some problem uh, re related with the uh, with the scaling up and when you scale up of the any kind of bio process i have given one example that when you, you produce the cell mass but particularly i can i can give the example of baker's is fermentation process now there that if 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 cell produce on the cell that you know re reactor wall it is very difficult to separate it out so so that uh, that we shall have to find out that how much how much productivity of the process will be lost Uh, how much of uh, cell concentration uh, will be in the attach because you know with that we can change the material of construction so that you can have more smoothness on the surface of the material of construction so that your less uh, attach growth will be there and second problem we have uh, discussed the uh, conventional the scale up problem that how different other parameters can be monitored and finally i discuss that uh, that uh, what is the purpose of scale down scale down process usually we adopt when we operate any kind of a uh, uh, bigger scale of fermenter we want to study the effect of any parameters on the productivity of the process that we cannot do in the big scale we shall have to do in the scale, small small scale and when you when you do with that kind of study we call it scale down we will have to scale down to optimization any kind of optimization study usually carried out in the in the in the smaller scale not in the bigger scale thank you very much